Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. Okay, so where we left off last episode, we were going to update our um, Mad Cat 3 and our Storm Crow D, which we did. Um, so we're going to have a quick look at the mech base before we get started on other stuff today. So what I wanted was I wanted a, a pinpoint strike mech, something that we can take legs off with, and I think we have that now. Uh, I wanted also a hardier mech that could replace the mech that um, the Atticus that um, Mockingbird was running. She was running a, uh, the uh, basically the Grinner with uh, um, five medium pulse lasers, and it was working really well. Uh, but the light armor on it just wasn't going to cut it. So I think I've developed a plan to make that work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move the Stormcrow Prime. Um, which was being piloted by Griff. We're going to move that down as the head of the second lance. Now I've got rid of the Grinner like I said I was going to do. And I also moved the Atticus out as well. Um, just because I needed the pieces off the Atticus to be able to work on the Stormcrow D uh, and the Mad Cat. So I basically moved that out. I don't want to have any more than eight mechs here. I want to have two lances and that's it. Um, partially because of, you know, finances. It was an extra you know, 60,000 or 70,000 to have those two mechs si sitting around. And I didn't want that. So I just got them in, I put them into storage for now. Um, so let's, well, the Stormcrow Prime, really the only thing that we changed on it. So if we'd have a quick look at it here. Um, now we did have an ER medium on here, or sorry, just a regular medium laser. We had the um, ER medium pulse laser on here. Uh, the, um, we had the uh, DNI cockpit and the virtual reality system in here. So I pulled those out um, and I basically, I pulled out the plus three cooling as well, uh, dropped it down to plus one, um, added a few extra heat sinks because we needed the plus th three cooling elsewhere. And I replaced the medium laser and the ER medium pulse laser with just two medium pulses. Uh, so we're running fairly heat neutral here. Um, which is great. Um, and we also have good chances to hit here, plus one for the enhanced imaging, plus two for the TTS weapons, and then the arms and the pulse inherent accuracy. So this is a good leader uh, mech for the second last. Now it doesn't have uh, an SS system or anything like that in it, uh, but it does have a warfare suite up and running. Um, so, you know, at least it's got some defense capabilities. So that's this guy here. And then um, now in the comment section, uh, people talked about running um, with heavy medium lasers and getting a build with heavy medium lasers. Now, I did try that. Um, I did try putting a build together for the Storm Crow D with heavy medium lasers. Um, and it just wasn't working for me. So I'll, I'll just, I'm just going to quickly, I just took a video of it. I'll quickly flip to that now. You can have a look at what that was like. Uh, and then I'll show you how I, I did outfit it. So here's that video. Okay guys, so here is a look at the Stormcrow D um, outfitted with medium heavy lasers. Um, and there's a reason why I'm not going to go with this. So let's have a look. Uh, we needed to add three heat sink cooling pods in here. Uh, one clan and two regular. An exchanger in the heat bank. Okay, now we didn't have a um, prototype double heat sink kit. We do have a prototype double heat sink, but no kit yet. And I don't have a plus three E cooling, so uh, we're running with uh, the 330 engine with a plus two. We've also got one double heat sink installed. Now our heat sinking right now is 101 Alpha Strikes 107. Now we do have an ER large and three medium heavies. I had to include the ER large because with the medium heavies, um, we're looking about maximum range 400 meters because the TTS weapons here gives us plus 20% range. To all brackets so we got about 400 meter range so we need something for a little bit further uh, this is roughly the same damage roughly the same heat we had a couple of tons left over so uh, i decided to put this in instead of another medium heavy um, so that's just kind of how it worked out got case in the torso here just to uh, make sure if anything of any of these blow up we don't take any damage um, and we put the enhanced imaging in for plus one accuracy minus one recoil and sensor recon so it's not bad so you have plus two plus three you know plus four accuracy but these medium heavy lasers are inherently 
Uh, they don't get the laser accuracy bonus, but it also says at the bottom, if you read it, heavy medium laser is penalized with a plus one to hit modifier because it the extra heat output interferes with the clan battle mech sensors. So really this is over a regular laser. This is like minus two to hit already. From what I understand, at least that's what I'm reading here, which means this TTS weapons is basically nullifying the negative negativity on these guys. So the accuracy is pretty low for three times 50 damage at three tons and uh, you know 105 heat. The ER large laser is four tons, 40 heat, but it doesn't suffer that inaccuracy. It's got a plus one accuracy by itself, so it's going to gain all the benefits of everything else here. Uh, I had to put a couple patchwork materials in, watchdog suite just for defense, and an NSS system to avoid being hit. Uh, so that's kind of where this is at right now. Um, it's not a bad loadout, not that bad, um, but at the moment, Without, I think, um, getting a prototype double heatsink kit in here, um, I don't think I want to invest all of this stuff just into a mech that's going to give me just these four chances to hit. And I don't know if they're going to be any better than adding more weapons on this platform at 55 tons. So, I mean, these are basically three pulse lasers, right? Except the fact that pulse lasers have less heat. In damage wise, like three pulse, three clan pulse lasers, lasers if they all hit, um, are dealing 48 damage. Yes, it's splash damage, but still, I can st I can still stick, you know, what, um, four of those, three of those for every two of these. Now, weight wise, it would be different, but heat wise, it would be better. Uh, plus, the pulse lasers are way more accurate, so I can take legs off far easier than I could ever with these guys. Um, Plus, if, if, one, if this misses, then it's like a lot of damage I'm down already, right? So, I think later on, when we have heavier mechs, this might be better. Or if I get a uh, prototype double heatsink kit, I'll probably, I might go with this run. But I just wanted to show you how the layout was here, what it would require. Um, once again, for where we're at, I don't think this is a massive improvement in what we have. So I'm just going to leave this build for now. I'm not going to I'm not going to run with it, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like when uh, we laid it out. All right. So uh, yeah. Okay, we're back. So let's have a look at how I did outfit the mech. So let's take a look at the refit here. Uh, it's not an amazing refit. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's not like it was better than the one that we had before. the The big difference is is it's way more accurate, and that's what I was I'm more concerned about at this level is just being accurate with our weapons. So we did include two heavy medium lasers. So we didn't have three in the, in the ER large like we had in the other mech. This one we've got two heavy medium lasers uh, because I can deal with two. And then we put the medium ER pulse in here and two medium pulses as well. And rather than going the, um, exchange, the exchanger and all the cooling pod route, I just went with um, regular heat sinks in here. We dropped the e-cooling system plus three, which gave us a ton of room to be able to put more cooling in. Uh, it does not have the clan targeting system. Um, that's three tons, and you need a clan cockpit to be able to run that. So this is plus one accuracy, not plus two. 25% uh, increased critical chance with energy weapons, not 50%. 10% increased range, not 20%. So it's a little bit lower, but it saved me three tons, which was basically 18 heat sinks, or 18 in heat sinking, so three heat sinks. Um, which made up for the loss of all of the other uh, um, cooling things that we had in here. Two patchwork materials, watchdog suite and NSS. It's going to keep it safe. Uh, recon sensors, obviously, to um, which we had in the uh, the Atticus before, which is going to give it a good chance to spot the enemy. Uh, heat efficiency is really good. We're at uh, 120, 117. We, now, we don't have the heat bank, um, but we never had it. Well, we did have it in the uh, old... Um, Atticus, but I don't think we're really going to need it too much in here. I think even if we just cycle off one heavy medium laser every once in a while, that's plenty of heat sinking and we still have lots of weapons to fire. So we're pretty good with this mech. Uh, I'm not 100% happy with the lo loadout, um, but we're going to get be getting more gear hopefully coming up soon and we'll be able to change the loadout on this guy. Uh, the one great thing about the clan mechs is they can change the loadout relatively quickly. All these hard points, we can just do whatever the hell we want. So Hopefully we can get some more stuff uh, and trade out some of these weapons to make things a little better. I'm just interested to see what the accuracy is like on these medium heavy lasers. 
as opposed to the medium pulse lasers. Like you get plus two accuracy, right? Inherent accuracy and ignore one evasion pips, right? Whereas this, it's like you don't get any accuracy and you're penalized with a plus one to hit modifier because it messes with your sensors. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll just see how it goes. It's nice having these extra little bit of pinpoint damage too. Um, but I've taken care of the pinpoint problem and you'll see that in a second here. So the Mad Cat 3, um, I was really hoping to trick it out with like lasers in the arms and then putting um, LRMs in the shoulders. And because that's kind of like the typical Mad Cat loadout and it's like, you know, it's kind of looks cool that way. It looks really cool that way. Uh, but I didn't go that route. Um, and I'll show you what I did here. I'm, I'm hoping this works out really well. Uh, as far as um, overall damage goes, this guy doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's all pinpoint. So let's have a look at him. Um, now the benefit of the Mad Cat 3 is that it's not, well not benefit, it's not an Omni Mech, so it's harder to repair, costs a lot more. This cost me over like about two and a half million C-Bills to put together. Had to put the Klein XL engine in, which was a million and a half on its own. Uh, but we get to put the defensive gyro in. I put the void system in, endo steel, watchdog suite. But what I did is I dropped all the capacitors, um, heat sink, cooling pods, um, uh, exchanger, heat bank, everything into this mech. And I dropped in a pair of ERPPC clan um, with a PPC capacitor. So plus 15% damage. So these things are going to be hitting for 82 each, I think, or 83 each, somewhere around there. Uh, it's going to be hitting hard. So, um, and with all of our inherent accuracies, like we have the weapon mount, uh, plus three accuracy with arm mounted weapons, uh, minus one recoil, because these things do have recoil. So it will be negating the recoil off of these weapons every turn, which is great. Um, we have improved fire control for a plus 15% chance for a called shot, which is awesome. The DNI cockpit, once again, which is giving us, um, maximum evasion pips plus three initiative so the faster we move the better off we're going to be uh virtual reality pod once again maximum evasion pips and evasion pips gain from movement uh which is good if we have to run but we have the void system so we don't really need to run anywhere right um we can fire from really long ranges right it's going to add four to anyone's chances to hit at a distance minus 60 percent reduced reduced visibility will will pretty much guarantee they're not going to be seeing me um it is plus 10 heat generated for Terran, plus 15 uh, heat generated from weapons fire. So I'm hoping we're able to stay cool with this. Right now, the, the heat sink cooling is 83, 81. It's pretty darn good. We've also got the TTS weapons, which gives us plus 2 accuracy. So I'm hoping these PPCs are ridiculously accurate. If this build does not work out, uh, which we'll see hopefully in this episode, if it doesn't work out, then what I'll probably do is pull out the PPC capacitor, drop in a couple of ER large lasers, and then maybe put a couple of missiles, missile launchers on the shoulders, or maybe we just go with more ER lasers or something, but um, we'll have to see how that goes. Now, there's not a lot of hard points on this guy. That is kind of the drawback of this mech, um, but four um, energy hard points in the arms is plenty for extra accuracy and lasers um, to be able to pick mechs apart. So if we go with ER large lasers, we could probably put you know at least three of them in here, maybe four in here. Um, depending on what we can do heat wise so you know that is the other possibility all right so we're going to try this mech out and see how it works oops we don't want to confirm we want to leave and that's it i didn't touch anything else everything else stayed the same so now we have got, got a, a main lance that's all medium mechs uh 255s and 250 tonners and then our secondary lance with a 55 and 335 tonners so El Duce got into a fight in the planet and he's out with an injury, but that's okay because it's going to take nine days to jump back. Actually, we've got a navigation here. It's going to take nine days to jump back over to uh, Ironhold. Uh, I did this episode back to back with the last one, so Huntress is still in Smoke Jaguar control, which means hopefully we can get this flipping slightly. If we go back and forth a few times, we might be able to get this flipping slightly to uh, and get a few more. Um, uh, Jade Falcon missions in today. So let's travel here. So we saved two Clan XL engines out of the Atticus and the uh, the Grinner that we had, um, which is good. So I was able to drop one of those into the Mad Cat and I was able to sell the other one. So we still do have one Clan XL engine kicking around. 
just as a backup in case we need it for whatever reason. But um, we're pretty much all Omnis now, which is great. Um, yeah, you might as well. Oh, I gained Athletic, eh? Cool. Okay, one day. Let's do this. All right, let's see what we got contract-wise. Falcon Freeborn ever arrived. Let's see if we can help out here. Ah, God, really? Let's have a look. So the barracks are looking pretty much the same. Oh, my God, really? There's one five skull japes falcon really steal the prototype. You think we can do this? It's a capture base. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm really iffy about a five skull mission. It's against the planetary government, which means most likely there won't be clan mechs. Uh, if it was four, sure, but five, I don't think so. All right, I'm checking it out. Let's go back. Let's go back. Maybe we help out Smoke Jaguar a bit. Yeah, well, we got, well, you know what, we'll come back. We're going to go home. Well, not home. We're going to go to Smoke Jaguar's home planet. Then we'll come back here just to see if we can pick up something. So in episodes previous, we have been able to pick up uh, Jade Falcon missions there. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Yeah, you're always ready to go over financials. Reached, Oops, they didn't want to visit the store. Well, let's just see if they got anything interesting. They did have a command console before. Uh, yeah, probably nothing. I always check out the ammo too, because sometimes you find some good stuff down here. Uh, I, picked, I picked up LRM Deadfire ammo. Um, so I've got some of that now. Alright, nothing I really want here. So uh, let's head back. That's the thing now with the new uh, system, because each weapon requires its own ammo. It's always good to check out the stores wherever you go just to look for ammo. Now you may not need it right away, but um, if you ever foresee yourself needing it for a build in the future, just make sure you buy it because you never know when you're going to see it again. Like for instance, LRM Deadfire, I haven't been able to find any for quite a while until I finally found it in the store. Uh, and it's better than having to take it as salvage, right? So... Like Alright, let's see what we get. Come on, here we go. Something good. Rolling the dice. Well, there's a three skull. We'll have to look at it in the barracks before we drop, just to see what. Ah, smash and grab three skull. Pirate defector, eh? Capture a base. Against the pirates. Uh, let's do the three skull first and see how that works out. Uh, let's have a look at the mech warriors first. Most of our mech warriors are um, pretty much all spent with their points. So blockade's fine. El Duce's fine. Griff is fine. Commander. Mockingbird's good. Hannibal's lost to wait a little bit. Oh, here we go. Shogun. Let's get that gunnery up. Excellent. Six pack. Yeah, I want to make sure we're sixes across the board with everything. Commander. Ah, oh, we're pretty darn close here. Adds a little bit of versatility if you've got sixes across the board. Uh, that plus 10% um, or the plus 10 to the uh, max seed is pretty cool too. So, uh, Alright, so let's have a look and go after these pirates. Smash and grab, eh? In the jungle? You got it. Rough in the jungle, baby. 
Okay, so we're bringing in uh, the main lance. So Griff, Mockingbird, El Duce, Blockade, and yep, and yep, 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 and let's do this. Okay. Memory core is going to be there, eh? I don't like this. Yep. Affirmative. Let's figure out what's going on here. I don't think I've played an extraction on this map before. Roger. Standing by. And I hope you like your new mech, Mockingbird. At least you've got lots of armor. I have to worry a lot less about you. Full throttle. Good to go. Mm-hmm. Picked up four blips. Gorgon, Arbiter, Zephyr, and a Jenner. I don't think these guys. Uh. Okay, I got to see that. Yeah, man. See, it looks it looks naked with no rocket launchers or missile launchers on the shoulders. Just totally looks naked. I mean, it would be nice to have four lasers and a pair of rocket launchers. I mean, you could go with four ER mediums and a pair of LRM-15s or something. I don't know. Just me. Let's see what we got on this guy. 75%. Ah, uh, not bad. A little bit of heat. Um... Yeah. Waiting for orders. I'm there. So 57 as opposed to 72 or 70. 13% difference. Not that bad. Firing all Ooh. Murderer. Like, see, even this one, the ER larges, bonus laser dam, like bonus laser to hit, all the ER mediums. This be hmm. That hit something good. Head hit. That doesn't sound good. Okay, that's not optimal range, so let's move into optimal range. Let's just see here. 44. Well, he's partially hidden too, right? So. Well. Okay, we're going to change this loadout, I think. At this point, I think it's better to go ER larges and and a bunch of other weapons. The damage will be about the same. Let's see if we can finish it. Well, this guy's got a lot of shit on him. I mean, armor, that is. Can I get that arbiter, right? Eh? 
See if you can finish this guy up. Wow, a large hit, but all the mediums missed. This guy's taking a lot of damage. Oh, here we go. Copy that, Commander. Yeah, I'm firing. Oh, not enough, eh? Good shooting. Wow. The asset is in hand, Commander. Good work. One thing I did, did learn about uh, Thunderbolts is you definitely, definitely, definitely want to make sure you get right up on somebody. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Well, relatively close to them. To make sure you can see and hit them. Alright, let's uh, go this route. And fire. Alright, she's hitting really well with those large or heavy mediums. Yeah, not liking this. Gonna have to switch it out to the lasers, I think. They're gonna be more accurate. Firing. Finish this guy up. Well, all we gotta do is hit that side once. Let's try it. Nope. Yeah, he's had enough. I don't blame you, buddy. I've fallen and I can't get up. Help me. I've fallen and I can't get up. This better not be it for a three skull mission. Makes me think it's no problem doing a five. Definitely right after this mission, though, we're going to switch out the... Uh, the loadout on the uh, Mad Cat. You'd think with the amount of Arbiters we've faced, see this is a big difference, right? Pulses are at 80, heavy lasers are at 44. Copy that, Commander. I mean, their weapons are only effective if, if you can land them, right? Alright, let's go this route. We should be able to clean this up this turn. Okay, one more. Let's just fire straight out. Guys, hanging in there. Not for long, though. See those pieces fly. Excellent. Mission successful. 
Okay, we lost 17,000 in the drop, but that's fine. It didn't take much damage at all. A little bit of arm damage. Uh, we don't really want any mech parts, so let's see what we got down here. Uh, if we were building... It's too bad we're not building a melee mech, because these would be really nice. Uh, what do we got down here besides crap? Thunderbolt 10, Armored Cowl. Oh, Ballistic. Okay, Proto Double Heat Sinks. We want those. No Proto Double Heat Sink kit, though. Another engine, maybe? Probably. That'll give us the maximum dollar salvage out of this. So let's go this route. And a couple of Jenner parts, a couple of these guys. Alright, some stuff that we can sell. Yeah, we didn't do too badly, dollar-wise. Alright. No big deal. Oh, got another Jenner. Hooray for that. Clan version of Clan Weaponry. Okay, well, that might be some good stuff in there. 11,000 for repairs. So we made okay sea bills on that. We do need sea bills, that's for sure. Um, let's have a quick look here. So let's refit the Mad Cat. I think it just needs to be more accurate. There's no way we can run with it accuracy as it is. Actually, let's just check this here. So if we just trash this guy, which we probably just should. So we do have one of these in storage. What are we going to be missing out on? A small pulse, which will be wrecked. Klein XL we'll get. We'll get these. So this is actually not, well, the engine 280. We repair it. Hmm. It'll save me having to repair this stuff later. Sure, why not? It's only six days. No biggie. Then we'll trash it. Okay, the Mad Cat. Let's refit this guy. So the PPCs aren't working. So let's drop these guys out. PPC capacitor can go. So we've got 13 tons. So we've got... If we're looking for a long-range platform, ER larges, can we get four? Yeah, we wouldn't be able to do it, do the alpha striking we want to do with that. If we do that, um, What's our heat sinking at again? 83, but it's minus a whole lot of percentages of heat. What if we just go with larges and then like... I don't know, a pair of LRM10s just don't seem to be punchy enough. We don't have two 15s unfortunately. Don't have the weight for 20s. I could make this work, but is it really worth it? Don't think so. If we're going for pinpoint, and it's this route. That's like hotter than the PPCs. But this is 40 and 20, right? 60. This was 55% plus a bunch. Uh, well, the other thing is, is we leave the void system off. 
if we're going to be moving in anyway. Because if we do this, we can take this off. Let's say we go with Clan Pharaoh. We could go with Pharaoh Lamellar as well. That's definitely going to increase the weight of the mech, though. Minus 12% per uh, point of armor. It's better if you have a heavier mech to do that. So if we do this, let's say, that's five tons. Got the defensive gyro already. We need speed. It's two and a half tons for the clan mask, eh? Then we could probably lower. Well, we don't want to lower the engine, I don't think. It's not adding it all on, right? But then is it subtract? I guess it is subtracting all the weapon heat off first. Just looking at sheer damage potential now. A pair of 60 pinpoints is nice. But is that what we want this guy to be? I guess so with the weapon mounts. It would have to be. And we want range. We don't want to be closing with the enemy. I have no idea what the heat's going to be on this thing. The damage if we hit with everything is more than the two PPCs. Just not pinpoint wise, unless we hit with it all. Uh, lasers are inherently more accurate than the PPCs though. So that's good. We've got the speed now with the mass to close. So if we just drop a couple double heat sinks in, just to make sure our sinking is going to be okay, we can just play with it as we go along. Let's try this one for pinpoint. Loads so much up in this torso though, but this is all volatile stuff. All right, let's try this. It's six days. We're going to jump anyway. We're going to jump out and jump back. Sorry for the slowness of this of this episode, guys. I just, I really want to get um, some stuff going on this planet, but it's just we're not getting the missions. Um, we'll jump back, and if we find a mission there, great. Still all wolf. Smoke Jaguar, set course. Yeah, we don't pay anything off. That's fine. I'm paying these guys off. Forget them. That work order you submitted is complete. Thank you. Be there in three days. We got an XL engine from that Jenner that we can. Well, we're going to sell a Jenner anyway. Got an XL engine we can sell. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. So let's do that now. So let's have a look. And we've got keep all the cores. The inner sphere XL can go. Since we're getting one from the Jenner, let's just get rid of this one. We got all these clan heatsink kits too, right? 
Let's get rid of four of those and this. So we're back up to our uh, C bills. Um, let's have a look at the mech bay real quick. Get rid of that Jenner. Tratch it. Everything will go into our inventory. So let's scrap it. 430,000. Didn't need it. We got lots of them. Um, so let's have a look at the contracts real quick. Protect the max. Take the bait. Stay, stop the signal. Into Smoke Jaguar territory. Well, how are we doing with these guys so far? 10. This will pretty much wipe our rep out with them. To destroy the base, though, it's against Smoke Jaguar, so we can get clan gear. Uh, extremely heavy mech with Wolfie and Heritry. Certainly a bait for a trap. Well, we could always spring the trap. Because we're good like that. Well, it's two and a half. But it's against Clan Wolf, so, I mean, probably should, I guess. It could be something really good, or it could just be crap. Yeah, let's make our Smoke uh, Jaguar brethren happy here. We'll go after that one. Um, I'm going to bid my Light Lance, though, I think. Two and a half skulls. Because why not? That should be a good fight, I think. We'll run the Mad Cat next episode when we go back to Jade Falcon home territory. Let's hope that uh, we can get some Jade Falcon missions there. Uh, where are you? Hannibal. Hannibal the Cannibal. All right. Uh, we need the Stormcrow Prime, the Adder, the White, and the Jenner. And let's do this, guys. All right, let's let's hope for a sixty tonner. Okay, here we go. Uh, how direct do we want to be here? And the answer is not yes, not man. very direct. Okay, we still got go. some pretty good speed in the Stormcrow. Yes, Commander. Doesn't have a mask, but doesn't need it. No shooting, just running. Good to go. Got it. See what they're doing here. Before we forget, I know I'll end up forgetting if I don't do that. I'm not going to push this. We most certainly do. So we got Arinya. Amerix? I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a heavy. It looks like it's, what, 70 tons? I can't even read that. It's just a blur now, whatever the hell that is. Two medium heavy lasers, three ER PPCs. Well, that guy's got to die with a prejudice. But we can't shoot him right now, but we can shoot this guy. So we're going to take our chance and fire it all. Take this. Uh, you can reserve for me. I'll wait here for now. <sighs> See, the issue is, is that guy's gonna like move. And target us if we move out in the open there. Target confirmed. Negative damage. Repeat, negative damage.
Well, somebody means business. Waiting for orders. Just gonna move forward. I don't know how far that guy can move. And we'll just reserve. Don't like this. Oh, he moved over. Time for a dog pile. I'm here. How far can you move? You want to be right in his face? Don't like the idea of not. Affirmative. Oh my god, I can't even see anybody? Oh my god! Waiting on you, Commander. You need to reserve. We can't see anybody, man. This is bad. At least you got full evasion up. Good thing I moved into the trees. Damage minimal. Standing by. We sure as freak know where he is. Spotted. Big turd blossom. Nova cat, huh? Let's just shoot him up a bit, add a little bit of heat if we can. Ooh, nice head hit. Oh, he's got AMS. That's supposed to add heat, though, every time it fires. Look at that thing! Stop! <laughs> Thank you for having freaking good evasion. Now you know why I wait for good evasion. Uh... Let's see how many of these fuckers are going to hit with AMS, eh? Uh, let's keep the narc on them. His heat didn't go up. Isn't it supposed to go up every time the AMS fires? Fuck these guys and their ECMs, man. Hey, liking that heat, buddy. Okay, so I know they got four guys back there. Enjoying that heat? Probably not. I'm receiving you. Took some right height, right side hit. So let's move back right. here. Just fire straight out. 
Wow, it's pretty damn good shooting. Huh. Oh, if you move, we can't see this guy. Standing by. You need to wait. Heading out. Let's just burrow this guy. Acknowledged. Tango down. Well, there we go. All right, it's going to get real quiet for the next couple turns so we can spot these guys. We're not hanging around here. Orders. Calling at. Okay, they got to come down this ramp and spill into here most likely. I think I want to come around this way and use the mineral field here. Because then they got to come out in the open without a mineral field. A lot of planks. Stand in by. Copy that, Commander. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. Aye, aye. Don't mind reserving her. Somebody's moving up over here. Come on. Waiting on you, Commander. Got it. Waiting for the right play. It's already been shown that you don't have good sensors. Location confirmed. Still nothing, huh? There's the Arinia. Okay, as long as we got blips. Just want those blips, man. The sweeps, the bleeps, and the creeps. Ambusher. Let's hope he's out of ammo soon, because I'm not liking that very much. Watcher, two ambushers, eh? Got low armor, so let's hope they all have low armor. Firing on this guy. Good to go. And fire it all. That's a leg hit. Oh, he lost something else. I was going to perch Hannibal up here and fire on him, but that's a bad idea with this other guy back here. 
Watch who's jumping. Good to go. I think we stay in LRM territory here. Uh -huh. uh, we want to just kill him. We're not going to do very well in the leg, but we're going to try for it, see what happens. Okay, we got a ping on him. God, thank God we're braced, and thank God we're in a mineral field. I mean, I don't believe in God, but damn. Gotta thank somebody for that. Alright, let's see what we get here. I hate not being in the trees or some kind of defensible... Pre well, that's not bad. Got our speed up. We're in the trees. Let's go up to the leg and firing. Not enough. Critical hit, Commander. And he vanished. Receiving you. Confirm. Can't see the other guys. So we'll shoot on this guy. Hmm. Not being able to see a goddamn thing. Why? We need to put you in a. I don't know. Something. Yeah, he's going to be he's going to be reporting serious armor loss here in a second. Affirmative. Did we kill this guy? I guess he died. All right, hammering away. Ping. I guess we did kill that guy. He must have... I don't know how he died. Am explosion maybe? I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't care. He's dead. That's all that matters. We got the ability, let's do it. Go after the leg. Fire Not enough. Reporting critical hit. People are screaming at me for this, but All right. let's get out of view. Well, hello there. All right. That's a good thing. Right?
And fire. I want him to try and run. Ready for orders. Let's turn the left side like so. And shoot this guy's other leg. And yep. Up torso. Critical hit, Commander. He ain't doing much this turn. We got the watcher over here somewhere. The best thing was this guy dying. I didn't think he died. I thought he just disappeared from sensors. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, we've only killed one guy, Durr. Ooh. Report an internal damage. Just don't lose any components. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Targeting for an alpha strike. Huh. Really, huh? I wonder what that watcher's doing. Just a little bit we need. Just need one hit. There it is. My luck, I gotta shoot him with everything because of my luck he just won't pan out. Now this guy, you don't want to be close to you don't want to be close to these guys. I don't really have much of a choice, unfortunately. Alright, fire in three. See if we can spot that watcher. Well, we know where he is. He's been, I don't know, doing stuff, jumping around. I guess he's, maybe he's the guy that's got their ECM or something. He's running away. Waiting for orders. You can't see shit. Receiving you. Going full speed. Really? Good to go. Affirmative. At least we get to cool off. Good to go. Christ, someone needs a beagle probe. Uh-huh. Now we got watcher parts as well. Be nice to see what components we can get off this guy. Guard a critical hit. Yes, Commander. Okay, he lost evasive. Which Double is bad for him. Okay, there's one leg. Inflicted some heavy damage. Should be able to get the other one. I hear ya. But not with you. Waiting for orders. We need pinpoint for this. Target acquired. Ah, leg, leg. Some heavy Waiting on you, Commander. You betcha. Uh, 
Um, this should at least scare the shit out of him if we don't kill him. Ah. Bang, you're dead. He wasn't supposed to be, though. Mission successful. Well, if that was not royally frustrating, I don't know. But we got like one more point left before Clan Wolf. Well, yeah, we got three more left. Before they absolutely put a bounty. Well, they've already got a bounty on our heads, but. Minus, what is it? Minus 99. Minus 90% 90 job payouts will not sell us anything. <laughs> Trying to get in their good books will be a nightmare if we want to. Uh, so I don't think we lost anything here. No, we kind of got lucky on that one, I think. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we get mech wise, though. A lot of ambusher parts. Wow. We can get an Arrhenia. Even if we don't use it, we could sell it. Look at all these parts. Watch your parts. ERP, is there anything good down here? Articulated, articulated jump jets. Compact heat sink kit. It's not what we want. Clan XL, let's drop it in for now. That's how we stay alive. Oh, heat banks. Got to take heat banks. Let's leave these off for now. Where's that heat bank? Heat sink kit prototype. There's two of them. I think the heat bank right now is more important than the... Where is it? Two of these now. Nah, that's nice. Okay, now we might be able to try that heavy laser build. Ah, oh, there's a clan mask too. <sighs> Look at all this stuff. We only got three salvaged weapon mounts. Man, they were... Oh. Alright, let's hope we get some good stuff. Oh, we got two of the mirror parts. So that's kind of nice. ERPPC, snub nose, snark launcher, eh, compact heat sink kit. Well, we could sell that. Double heat sink, double clan double heat sink, which is good. Prototype NSS, which is excellent. TSM. Okay, so, eh, yes and no. Our choices were good. What they gave us was, eh. All right. Uh, so not bad. Not bad. 98,000. Yeah, we did take a fair amount of damage. Just physical damage. That's okay though. That was a two and a half skull for our second secondary lance. They could probably push a three skull, I think, now. Now they got the extra tonnage in the Stormcrow, but I think we're gonna have to outfit the Stormcrow with some um, some kind of um, head sensors or detection beagle probe or something. Cause damn, not being able to see anything in that, that was being blinded. I'm surprised they we they did so poorly against us without being with us not being able to see them. But uh, those, with those two ambushers too, they were just the cluster ammo is is kind of cool, but it's like the scattering of damage is just bad. Anyway, so yeah, that's it for that. Um, so we're gonna jump back to actually that was kind of a really long mission. So I think what we'll do is we'll end the episode here. Next time when we come back, we will be on uh, Ironhold again. Jade Falcon Turf. Hopefully we can do something and flip it. Did we get any... No, that was a... Uh, we got 17 rep with them now. But uh, hopefully we can flip... Not flip it, but at least get some missions uh, from Jade Falcon on Ironhold. Um, probably won't flip it at all, but, you know, depends on what the... Uh, what everybody else is doing. It's kind of nice being able to do this right now. Um... Uh, kind of move back and forth while well, this planet is still controlled by Smoke Jaguar because if we go to Star Map um, as long as this remains in Jaguar hands um, we can kind of move back and forth in nine days and we can sell stuff here and then just jump back um, and as long as we keep going back and forth it'll keep generating missions for us so we can hope we can get lucky with it 
But anyway, we're going to leave it there for today. Um, if you liked the episode, drop a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free, to, feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.